What should I consider when I'm doing the lower lash line? Oh my gosh, this question got me like completely off guard because I definitely have like a love hate relationship with the lower lash line. Like I wouldn't say that I do it so much. Some clients look really good with it. Before you even consider doing it, that's going to be your tip number one. Draw it on one eye and see, take a picture, maybe show it to your client, see if it's going to even look good. Another thing is to consider, I always educate my clients that sometimes the lower lash line, especially if it's done bold and very dark and saturated and with black, makes the eye look smaller versus actually bigger and opening eye, opening the eye. So make sure that you pre-draw it, show it to your client, look yourself, see if it looks good and then only then do it. So that's the first tip number one. Number two is that I never use black pigment on the lower lash line. I always use brown, even if the client wants the black in the first procedure, I'll educate them and I will do brown anyway, because you can always upgrade to black. Number three, please make sure that you stay within the lash line. So you stay where the lashes grow and you don't go any lower. The moment you step lower, the skin has wrinkles, right? Like has folds. So when you stretch, you feel like the line is straight. The moment you let it go, the line could break. So it's not going to look as good. In the lash line where the lashes grow, that doesn't happen. So that's the third tip that I would suggest. And if you want more, make sure that you follow my page because I'm actually going to show you a hands-on way of how I stretch to the lower lash line and how I tattoo it. So I'll see you in that reel.